So this is the new long haul harness. It's part of the whole set of products we did this year to kind of revamp our big wall gear. The harness actually, you find people well outside of kind of the big wall world liked our old big gun, which I'm not kidding, was in the line for 15 years. It, it was something that really needed a refresh. We got this opportunity to talk with folks that are doing big wall climbing today or just want a harness that really is super comfortable and, and burly and update this rig. So you can see some pretty obvious things, the double belay loops, the thickness of the padding on the legs and the waist. It's all about comfort. Weight's not a much of an issue here, but comfort and durability. So you can kind of see everything is built a little bigger and heavier than a harness you would normally use today. Um, a lot of times, you know, people aid climbing will have a daisy and then be tied in or have something clipped. There's a lot going on here. So not only to reduce wear, but to add that extra belay loop is, is a matter of function. These are the infinity loops where they have no, there's no seam, which is cool. Two of those, five, full-size, actually larger gear loops, and then the, the tagline is full, full strength as well. So a lot of stuff that you don't see on harnesses as much now, because we've gone light with a lot of the harnesses, but in this sort of big wall or super long days, or even people that are, are rigging or developing routes are gonna be compelled to get something like this. You know, it's got this just lots of comfort and durability. And by updating the construction to this much smoother um, build that, uh, that is more like our modern harnesses, we're able to sort of address those durability and usability issues. You know, things like we've kind of gone away from the full strength tagline loop on all the other, other harnesses because sport climbing, even for the most part, you don't use that. But that's something that, that big wall climbers tend to still uh, feel is important because of the, just the way they'll rig their setup often. There's ice clipper slots. When you're climbing on a wall, a, an ice clipper, while it's an ice clipper, is actually pretty good utility for a lot of other things. A lot of our big wall gear this year, like the harness and the ledge, kind of have this expedition Himalaya big range type intent so you know it's plausible that you would be carrying ice tools and so on a harness like this that's kind of got all the features it feels like a natural um, and it has other utility as well you know this one comes in small medium and large for men just the men's or unisex it does have adjustable leg loops and waist which generally it accommodates that doesn't account for the rise difference that you see in the men's and women's but you can do pretty well with the leg loops and the waist adjustability so this has the three bands of vectran that run around the, the inside and then those all come together to attach to the webbing so that's pretty similar to the, uh, the construction of like the solution and the zone, just with a lot more padding on the inside. The, really, the strength comes from, you know, obviously we have the webbing with the, the buckle, which is known to be strong, but that load is carried a lot around three bands of this Vectran material that's actually quite thin and allows us to trade thickness here for padding. Same in the legs. We've built these gear loops on all our harnesses largely the same for quite a long time. Um, and the motivation there is we've been able to get this shape, get it refined, have it be strong and durable, and really, we can't really find a great reason to move away from this construction, but this is really what's working for us. And there, it's a, a bit of a process, because this has a piece of webbing on the inside to give it the strength and attachment, um, and then it's molded post, you know, after the webbing is put in, so.